Good morning, Clara. It is Tuesday, March the 29th, 2011. And if you hear some moaning in the background, that's Abby. She's not very happy. A lot of times Abby is not very happy, but she's especially not happy today because Grammy is in Tulsa. <laughs> and so every time I come home, the, all the dogs are standing at the door like, is it, is it? And I walk in and go, it's not her. And I go, oh. <laughs> Anyways, so I was telling you yesterday about my furloughs and how they didn't really co correspond with my friends. And so they would come back, we would have a couple of years, and then I would leave, and then I would come back, and then they would leave, and back and forth. And I remember one day riding the bus to Faith Academy, and I was unhappy about this situation. I was grousy. You know, I said, I don't understand why my life has to be this way. Right, 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 right. You know, I'm all torn up, they're all torn up, you know, because we miss each other and go back and forth, back and forth. And uh, the thought came to me at that point, that's because you're planting roots, not seeds. This was when I was, I don't know, about 10, 11 years old. And I thought about that and I thought, that's an interesting idea. Because see, if we treat our friends as something that we can ex as someone or something that we can extract things from, what we're doing is we're putting our roots into them so that we can draw from them. And so then when they leave, those roots get ripped out, they get ripped up, everything's bad. But if instead of just treating them as something that we can extract something from and instead treating them as something we can give something to, someone that we can plant seeds in, then what's interesting is that even after that person leaves, they take something of you with them. And that something, if it's a good thing, can grow up in them. And then when you're reunited after a couple of years and you spend time with them, you can actually look and go, hey, that little piece of me grew up, that kindness, that generosity, that way of thinking about life. And that little idea, don't plant roots, plant seeds, really changed my whole attitude towards my friends and towards those furloughs. And I've tried to carry on that attitude through life of, I don't have friends just to see what I can extract from them. I have friends to see what I can give them that will help them in their life. As always, remember, I love you.